speed on here. <clears throat> okay, back again with another live stream. Going to get back to uh, work on this Raspberry Pi um, camera <laughs> server setup. I to grab the name of it. Let's see if I can see it in the. Okay, this is the command line here of the Raspberry Pi. It should be showing. Um, And of course you can't read it, but and I can hardly read it. Let me get okay. So what I, I I'm trying to find. <laughs> I thought I knew which cables went where, but I didn't. And uh, trying to find a cable that goes to my, you know, my main my D-Link router or my switch. You know, the switch comes off the D-Link, so they should all be the same. Uh, 192.168.0 so and so so and so. But my Trendnet router gives me a few more ports, but <laughs> it's only got four ports. Let's see. Yeah, it's, I think it only has four ports total. Might have four and then an uplink, but uh, anyway, three of the cables I picked are all on that, uh, evidently, because it kept giving it a. Yeah, it it is a, on a dot ten. It was on a two to one six eight dot ten. So I've got another cable that should be pulled it off another machine, and I believe it should be giving it the uh, you know the DHCP address from my D-Link router. So let me get up there and plug it in. I wanted to see if it would uh, Oh, the darn thing rebooted. Panic rebooting in 10 seconds. I wonder why it rebooted. Well, then I'll just get up there and plug the cable in. I was going to see if it would change, you know, while the system was running when I changed the network cable. But, yeah, it's saying network wired DHCP. So I think I got it in just in time. Oh, it has Pro FTPD, SSHD, SMB. M, can't even read it. NMDB or BD. D V yeah D V okay yeah one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one seventy two and four slash twenty four I saw that when I was setting up a DNS server they always wrote things out that way and now I've forgotten what it means but uh, I should be able to go to one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one seventy two and I should be able to see that in my router when I log into it. DNS server 71.10.216.1. That's not the IP of my router. It's not my charter's IP either. I, my, I don't believe it's the IP of the modem. Uh, <clears throat> it serves up IP, but only the one thing I have plugged into it, the router. That's odd. Unless it's getting has its own DNS server built into it, but still it worked. It must, it's seventy one dot ten. That dot ten's a local, so it has a DNS server built into it. Why would it do that? I guess. Well, let's just see, go see. Let's see. M, M E Y E, and then some numbers and letters, and log in. I'm not going to try to log in on the command line. There wouldn't be anything that I'd be wanting to do there anyway. So I'm going to go to uh, one seventy two. Oh, now I can keep wanting to keep wanting to switch my uh, KVM switch, but I don't do that. I just switch the monitor back to the machine I'm already on. Okay, now one seventy-two. Well, let's just go ahead and um, log into the router since that pages are still open. Just yeah, there it is right there. Let's see. Well, I'll just go ahead and reserve that IP right now, too. Okay, save that. After reconnecting. Okay. After reconnecting. Did I have to hit save again? There. Now, 
Well, we don't really need to be on the router anymore, I don't think. I am kind of wondering why that thing panicked and rebooted, though. Because it didn't have a... I there it is. Motion Eye OX. Uh, unable to open video device. Oh, okay. I will try. Does see the camera? I saw that the light's on to the camera. Now, that's not surprising because it's an old camera. And some Linux systems will see it. Some won't. And it's kind of crazy because I have two old cameras. And the other one's a little newer than this one. And sometimes one will work and then the other. Usually one of them will work. Uh, and on Windows systems, I always have to install you know, drivers. But let's see if there's a way to <clears throat> set it up and all that. Let's go ahead and this is called Motion OS. Let's see. Oh, I have a yeah. There it is. This is mine. Something you can do. I'll go full screen. Open pictures and browser. Play. Six frames per second. Hmm. That made it refresh or something, yeah. Oh, and able to open it. What's this? Ah, uh, log in. Okay, remember me. Don't have a username and password. Okay, let's see. Unless there's a default that I didn't see in there somewhere. Looks like you're going to have to log in to be able to do anything. It really looks like it's just a way to look through the... Oh, expert settings. So, yeah, you're going to have to be logged in. Well, before I just try, well, let's just try something. Admin, admin. Remember me off. Hello, characters. Don't save. Don't ask me that yet. Okay, cancel. Let's go see what we can do about figuring that out. Okay. Didn't see anything. <clears throat> um, kind of wondering, you know, that other one that said it would run a setup and all that stuff. This one didn't do that, and I didn't see that setup. Let's go look. I'm not see if I missed it. Oh, I never did look. See, I didn't I unzip this one, so I didn't see that setup. So I'd have to double click on it. I shouldn't have done that. Should have. I think it's going to unzip it. I don't want to do that. Oh, it opened it up. Uh, the hard drift disk application. Where's the app? I don't see that. Yeah, we wouldn't want to. I uh, thought I saw the word restore. It was going to try to restore that image to my one of my hard drives. We don't want that. That would destroy them. So that's equal to So if I decide to unzip it. Disk writer. Archive Manager, Files, let's just do that, we'll just unzip it, Extract, All, Make Folders, yeah, I like that, okay, I didn't do that at first, I started to and then I didn't, but when I saw that it was an IMG file, that's normally what you use to write to SD cards or USB sticks, you can do ISOs and I usually do that, but that is kind of the de facto type of file type they generally use successful so files oh I didn't need to do that already have it open in my browser in my file browser there 
Let's just close that. Close that. And what I should have said is quit. Okay, now. Where is it? Don't tell me they... Uh, Oh, it just extracted the IMG file. That's all it did. Yeah, okay. Now I can still... Disk mounter. I can look through the files. Let's do that before we go any further. <sighs> Oops. Why does it keep saying that? Let's go look at the others first. Okay. Yeah, that's just some boot stuff. I don't know if I'm, I'm not typing anything wrong. You want me to authenticate. I'm going to cancel it. I don't see anything. This must be the whole operating system here. Yeah. SD card, storage, got a web server on it, well no it just has the files, well it's got some web server because you can log into it, okay so I just wanted to know about that, uh, still ended up using the file browser that I don't really like to use, but let's see. I don't want to leave that mounted. Make sure I don't unmount my part my backup drives. Those are my backup drives. I don't want to mess them up. Okay, so uh, I'll leave that until I'm sure. I mean, I don't need that extracted like that. But in case I want to look back through there again, I might want to mount it again. Okay, um, what was I going to do? figure out if I can find password. This is motion installation. There we go. Downloaded it, extracted it, and we wrote it to SD card. Right, image SH. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe these instructions, oh yeah, I never did get to see that. See, this is different than that. But this, to me, it it is obviously the instructions for the de development version. But uh, you can't run that script from that image IMG file. See, there, there's no, you can do it that way. Unless you mounted it and ran, and you found it and ran it or something. But see, that was obviously instructions for the uh, dev version. In my previous video, I went around and around with all that, deciding how to do it. I tried using, uh, what I did was I used, uh, this Im what's, I've already forgot the name of the image writing program, and suggested to use it by, by this outfit here on their website, Etcher. And uh, it didn't work with the dev version, but it worked perfectly with the <coughs> this version, this Raspberry Pi. Uh, version here that I just put on it and it's running just fine okay so installation <coughs> and it says if you want you can use these uh, <coughs> <coughs> image writing program somewhere yeah any other image method should work first boot Well, I let it run long enough the first time, so I don't think I've messed anything up. Preparing data on the SD card, configuring SH mode access. 
auto configuring to take camera devices. Now it tried, but it didn't make it with that camera. I, I'll try a different camera and maybe if I have to reboot or something, you know, and see. I've got, actually, I could plug, what do I have in there? I might be able to plug both cameras in there. Because I was going to plug my, uh, yeah, I think I can because I was going to plug my wireless mouse in there and then I realized, well, I don't need that because I only access it through the web web interface anyway. Yeah, see, and I just went ahead and set the router to give it the same IP address instead of doing doing it in the system, especially since there's, that was only in this method here when you run the right image SH. What I did, go to the web browser and go to that IP, and of course it defaults to port 80, and so that just went straight to it. Switch user to administrator. Click on the user icon. Use the admin with no password. Okay, there we go. That's what we're looking for. As for, for credentials, feel free to change that. So let's do that before we do anything else. Admin. I didn't even notice that first time I went through there. Okay, now I'll just click instead of hitting enter. Usually I just hit enter, but I want to make sure it works. It doesn't take that as a, okay, now I should have administrative privileges and I can see everything. Okay, cool beans. That's what I missed. Okay, now, admin user, I could change it to something else, but right now we'll leave it like that. Surveillance user, yeah, we'll do it this way, I guess. I mean, I like to change the if you can change the admin user, I like to change it to make it more secure, but right now I want to just leave it. Let's see. <clears throat> Oops. I saw my notes about this, and I realize I need to do some changes here. Okay, now. All right, I'm going to write down, this is called Motion iOS. Let's see. If I don't do it now, well, I'm fixing to change the password. I have to write it down.
Okay, I think I have it figured out. <clears throat> it gave me time to, you know, research the uh, user interface, right? Except for you were wanting to go down and you couldn't. I wouldn't let you. All right. You only get to type it in once, so I'm not going to do that. How do you save that? Oh, right there. Apply. So if I got them wrong, well, you can still change it, I guess. If I got both of them wrong, well, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> I guess I'd have to reinstall. Okay, now you gotta go do this again. Don't save right now. <laughs> Maybe later we'll see. Depends on if I leave it. Okay, now, so that worked at least. Now then, motion 422, OS version, so and so, so and so, software update check, shutdown, reboot, configure, backup, restore. Okay, now, network, wireless network op, this I don't have. Yeah, automatic DHCP. FTP is enabled. Require authentication, enable FTP write support. That's all. Well, I may want that on so I can delete the files. I guess that would only be under admin, right? Yes, okay. And then Samba, it's okay to look at it, but no write. SSH. Oh, SSH is the way I'll do the writing and all that, I think. Yes. Say so no right now. I changed that now, it has to reboot. Okay, camera, dev, so and so, so and so. Okay, automatic brightness. It's on, but it's not working. It's got the right size, 320 by 240. That's as big as it'll do. Try the automatic brightness, but I don't think that'll make any difference. I don't know if it will. You can see it. So that's a good uh, good sign, but I don't know why. Try to click in there and see. You can't do anything in there. That's what it is. But I don't believe changing the, any of this would mess with it. You know, you should see some kind of picture if it was going to you know, work. Extra options. File storage. On. Okay, upload media files off. Oh, you can turn on upload media files. Yeah, see if, if I could upload media files and tell it where to go. I don't, know where, I don't have a server running all the time now to send it to, though, right now. Because the only server I've got going is that uh, Dell 6000 laptop. I don't even know what kind of room. I don't think I'd have room for that. Pictures, movies, that would be nice to be able to do that. And me not have to. And then if it automatically uploads them, then it, it'll automatically delete when the you know the drive gets full. So if it's just constantly, I've been having to manually go over there and, and, and you know, download the files from my phones and then manually delete them. The only option it had was to send them, well, let's see. I know it would send them to their server if you signed up and paid, you know, for the IP webcam app, but I think it might would send it to, I don't think it would send it, if it would send it to Google Photos, I would have done that, so I don't think it would do that, but I think it had a couple of options, call a webhook, okay, what did that do, huh, HTTPExample.com notify, get, I don't know how you would do it. I don't know how to do that. Make a notification on the web. You know, go to hit a website and then it note. I guess if you hit the website particular page, then it will automatically notify you if you had it set up to do that. Okay. 
Chronic command. If you knew what to do. Okay, file storage. That's pretty cool. Text overlay. It's on. Camera name, timestamp. Well, that'll be fine for now. Anyhow, video streaming. It is on. And I do want that on. Yeah, you don't need to resize those images. They're small. Snapshot URL. Streaming URL. Let's see what that is. Of course, it's not working right now, so that's not going to matter. What's well, a long address, isn't it? Oh, well, no, that's decent. Oh, 8081. My phones were 80, port 8080. So just this IP at port 8081. A screenshot of that once authentication mode I don't want you to have to authenticate just to see the stream because you're only going to be able to see it on my network so let me send out to the interwebs Let's see. embed URL hmm. I don't know okay that's cool okay video streaming still image And your snapshots, it's on manual. Forever. We'll leave it like that for now. Movies. HD64, that's a good codec. Quality. They might as well be 100%, really. With these cameras. I guess I'll go ahead and do that. If it was, you know, high, high uh, resolution camera, then I could. Okay. I don't wonder what zero is, default is what. Zero is the default. Um, oh, forever. Forever, custom, for one day, one week, one month, one year. I'll leave it on forever. This is not going to really be, unless I tell it to upload and so that when it gets full, it, uh, which would be with four, you know, I mean, whatever this takes up and then what's left of that four gig gigabyte hard drive, man, it would be having to upload all the time. And that's the thing that I don't, the only thing I have running all the time is that laptop up there. I'm on the desktop just so I can, and that laptop, I, can, I really can't send it to that. I, I like this, uh, if it'll work with my cameras. Okay, um, I'm hoping to find some di uh, some settings for the camera that would make it work. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it either work finds a camera and works with it, or it don't. <coughs> but I'd, I think I'll go ahead and plug in that other one and see what happens, and then you know leave them both for a little while and see. So I'm gonna leave forever. One day, one week, one year, custom. I'll wait until there, maybe that, there may be a, it may already be set to. Uh, delete them when the drive starts getting full. Ocean detection. It's already on and it's already preset, so I'll just leave it on that. Auto threshold tuning, that might be good. If it works. These speckle filters, that could be good. I won't turn on a bunch of stuff until I see how it works. I'll leave it on. How long is it going to record? Motion gap, 30 seconds. seeing it just says did it try to just record while there's motion and then quit or what the phones you set well you, they have some presets and the, the least you can do is five minutes which is too much really uh, as far as making because this is well I can't let's see Am I recording to 1080p or 720p with the phones? I think I had to do 720 because I couldn't stream the 1080 over my network right, and watch it. 
That's what I did. Can't remember now. Okay, so that I'm going to leave alone. Uh, I'm tired. I'm very tired now, so I may be missing schedule. Whoops. Oh. When I did that, it turned it on. It's in working schedule. Pretty sure that was already on. Yeah, it turns it on when you click on it. Monday off. Tech motion during working schedule. So that was already off. So that should just do it all the time, I guess. Text, video streaming, still images, movies, motion picture. Social notifications, I think. Yeah, send an email. I missed that one. Call webhook. Run a command. Run an end command. Okay, so I'm not going to do any of that unless I really get to using it. Movies, video streaming. Let's look at those movies over here. File name. Motion triggered, yeah. Maximum movie length. Preserved forever. So the only thing you might want to do is... I mean, you really, you know... One day's not long enough. Week, maybe. But you're not going to get a week onto this thing. Uh, this small of a car. I had a 64 gigabyte. Of course, I, I had a lot of, you know, some space used up on it, but I forget what I allotted. 20, 25 gigabytes of space on the, on my camera. Something like that. Maybe 30, I don't remember. Uh, and then when it got up, fill that space up, because I didn't want it to mess up the camera where the rest of it wouldn't work, you know. I mean, the phone, I keep calling I call them cameras because that's what I use them for. Forever, custom, what would custom look like? You will recursively remove. This will recursively remove all old media files present in the directory. Data output camera, not just those created by motion. Oh, okay. Okay. Custom. Lifetime, days. I don't know how many you can do. Right now I'm going to say two because <clears throat> this is a small card. Okay. I could have just done that as a normal, I guess. Let's see, forever, one year, one month, one week, one day. Well, no. Custom, I'm, one day's not long enough. At least, you know days for me to even look at them you know that's about all I think I could get out of that small space I could try for more but well then I don't know what would happen I guess it would keep them if it wasn't out of space let's see one week one day yeah I don't think you get seven days let's try four days and see if it would do that. Because if not, hardly anything gets done, then, you know, it would be. And these are going to be small files because it's a camera. It, assuming either one of them works. I don't want two cameras on it. I just want one. Anyway. No, I mean, it's possible maybe to do two cameras. but Well, not now that I see that this one's not working. I don't see any way to make it work. I don't see any settings. I'll have to let's go ahead and apply that and it'll have to reboot I uh, keep hoping that camera that, that one will just start working all of a sudden but I don't think it will now the oh check for updates that might make it work huh we'll do that next and over here what was it oh okay that made me have to log in again I'm gonna have to log in again because I did that? Sure am. Remember me. Let's see. Um, I already forgot the password. Well, 
let's don't do that because I may be one user one time and another user the next time. I don't know why it made me log out when I did when I clicked over there. I thought maybe that was something I could see. I needed to be able to. All right, the only thing I haven't looked tried doing yet: backup, restore, check for updates. See if there's any updates. <clears throat> Up to date. Okay. Let's see. There may be some looking I can do <laughs> to see if it's uh, um <clears throat> you know it can Something you can do to make the cameras work that don't work. <coughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to plug in that other camera. <coughs> and, uh, <coughs> could be because of the way I installed it, I got too basic of a version and it didn't do all the configuration that it's capable of doing, or that development mode one might work better. Assuming it'll run on my old Raspberry Pi, that was the thing I was concerned about, is it not running on it? So, let's see. <clears throat> um, well, showing it booting and rebooting is not much good. I'll zoom the camera back out again now. I'm getting hungry. Better like it was. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Then I'm gonna leave it on that normal. That's generally the best when you're not trying to show a screen or anything. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm gonna get up there and plug in that other camera. Oh yeah, whole point was to go to the camera. There we go. <coughs> going to work right off the bat. Maybe a reboot will make it work. <sighs> but uh, the light, the light always stays on on this camera when it's uh, working. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't put another camera in there. But it did see it, it did activate it for a moment. So now let's go ahead and uh, reboot. That's handy to be able to just do it like that. <clears throat> yeah, that uh, web interface is pretty much, you know, mostly all you need. Uh, assuming everything's going to work, anything's going to work. One of my cameras is going to work. Um, so that's cool, you know, that you you can do it. You can do updates. You can do. M all the all the impor important settings that I see now. Of course, if you had to do any uh, working, oh, the camera came on, went off, came on, went off. Let's see. If, oh yeah, it's trying to w set it up right now. That's what that extra spinning line is. I think. I was thinking it was just going to spin until you know it was like my router. It'll usually. Even when it finally finishes rebooting, you got to reload the page to get a fresh image. But it's still spinning that thing, so let's see what happens. It may have an automatic reload in it. <clears throat> Let me get me a little chocolate thing. I'm starving.
Well, it says system has rebooted. So I'm beginning to think. I think. Let's see. I don't know. I never did get zone liner running, so I don't know if it would have saw my cameras or not. But I kind of feel like it would. It supports so many different types of cameras. I feel like it'd be more likely to work. But I don't. Well, actually, there is. You can install Zonebinder in Razbane. I saw it in the. But I thought, I don't want to try that again. It's hard to set up. Got my. Email in there for some reason. I can, Firefox did that. Not showing two cameras. It's only showing one. So it sees camera one was the you know the first one, and this still has a screen light on. It's just not working. But the other one, I don't think it's working at all because the lights are supposed to only come on when it's dark, but the mount that it had come with it, it broke. And did I ever switch back to, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see the cameras up there. Okay, the, the, the one on the left, you can kind of, it's a clear case, so you can don't see it too well. The little green light, that's the one that's camera one. And then the... The white, that's a piece, a PVC pipe wire, like an inch and a half or two inch PVC pipe wire, I think. I think it's inch and a half. And that camera that's in it, you can, the bottom one, the top one's empty, the bottom one is the camera in it. It just happened to fit in there. So I siliconed it in there because I needed a way to mount it, you know, to hold it. And it works really well. Except for the, uh, the sensor <laughs> evidently got covered up when I did that. So now the light always on it used to go well it worked it actually worked better in windows than it did in linux sometimes some oh, linux distros you know or, uh, versions of the same distro it would work and turn on and off like it should and sometimes it uh, would just be on all the time <clears throat> so I, that's another reason why i just left it in there because i well it didn't work half most half the time anyway so didn't work right and, but the thing is I can't stand it having it back when that's all I had I still couldn't stand using it with it shining those lights on my eyes so I didn't use it much <clears throat> to shine it on myself like to do a web video or something but uh, anyway it's, it's still seeing that's why I left the other one in there I wanted just wanted to see the other one there it is Ah, configure this camera. Yeah, now that I'm logged in, oh, I see. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, we have layout, frame. I could try messing with that stuff at the top. We'll see. Oh, that's well, still the same settings. Automatic brightness I turned on a while ago. And then all the same stuff I was just going through. <clears throat> also, I guess you figure each camera. No, you know, these settings, I thought those were global settings, the ones that I was doing a while ago. It frames vertically. See if that does anything. No. Might as well play with things. Layout columns. That. Oh. Configures the number of columns used to lay out the camera frames. Hmm. I don't know. I've never seen that setting on anything. Oh, uh. Huh. Oh. That's just to give you room, <coughs> give you room on the page there. But that would be about right. 
<coughs> that way I can still have them both in there if they ever do both work. Well, no, let's leave it on three because the other one's bigger than this one. <clears throat> this is just a preview. You can see it full size if you want. Host name. Give it a host name. No, I won't bother about that now. I would just go by the camera. Well, I could give it, like, you know, the name of the camera. I used to always do that something. Which one was which? The brightness, of course, is not going to... Oh, you got to apply it. I don't think that would do anything contrast. Now, that could do something. But you have to apply it. Let's just change it. Let's see if it does anything. Saturation, that wouldn't make it work. Let's see. I hope not to reboot. I didn't think it did. <coughs> But sometimes you be, you know, you don't. If you fiddle around with something, you all of a sudden surprise yourself and get it to work. So. Frame rate is something that I could see. Here we go. Resolution dimmer. Frame rate dimmer. Dims the actual resolution of all cameras to save network bandwidth and traffic. Does not work on simple MJPEG camera. I think that's what this one is. Where was I at a minute ago? This is not the same settings that I was in a while ago. It changed. It seems that once I, you know, changed the last thing I changed. There's not, it didn't come up with a save this time. Hmm. Yeah, that's real time. Those are real time. But it doesn't help. <clears throat> Seems to have just made it blurrier. Now the little I would I would imagine that if it did work, the image would be more blurry. Okay. I think that it's <coughs> how many rows you have of cameras, I guess if you had several cameras. Keep a look, huh? Fast camera. Only with the CSI camera. 
I don't know what CSA camera is. Is that a type or a brand? It turns it on. Turn on your Vivica into a simple and fast MJPEG network camera. My cameras will work with, I forgot what else. They'll work with MJPEG and one or two other types of things, but they don't say, you know, they don't do MPEGs or anything like that. It disables the motion detection and every other thing. I used to use them with motion detection back on Windows 98 and Windows XP. That doesn't make sense. Why you'd have to turn, you know, why they have it where it turns that off in order to do that. And yeah, choose at least 96 megabyte if you use the CSI camera board. I wonder if that's the uh, Raspberry Pi camera they're talking about there. Might be. Can side camera over here. I mean, I could try it for a minute just to see if it makes the camera work. Fast network camera. Try it. <coughs> The thing is, is I don't know how I got changed into a different section. Oh yeah, oh well, it's rebooting. I don't know how it changed into a different section. I don't. All that stuff I was working on and trying to take it one step at a time, it all went away. Looks to me like it just ain't. Oh no, it keeps saying, oh, oh, it's not seeing the camera, but it's not done rebooting. It's not that quick at rebooting. It looks different than it did a while ago when it was doing this. Yeah, but <clears throat> I got a feeling the uh, newer camera isn't going to work. Well, neither one of them are working, but the other one won't even show up in there, you know. So it looks like this is not going to work. Because there's not even, I mean, it doesn't show up in the system to where I can even set any settings on it like the other one does. <clears throat> <clears throat> I can try the other one by itself too, but I got a feeling it won't do a darn thing. <clears throat> well, that little orange thing is still spinning, so I guess it's still working on its reboot. <clears throat> Thought I needed an allergy pill. Yeah, waiting for that IP. Oop, bring it into everything now. <sighs> okay, this time it goes back to the logon screen. I'm trying to put my boxes pills back away. Get it and take them. Well, as per usual, this took like hours and hours longer than I expected. I expected to take two to four hours, but I don't even know how long I've been messing with this now. I don't want to tell it to not. <clears throat> That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so you do that, click on it, and then you get that option to get to the uh, settings. There's a bunch of more settings. I mean, this is the average settings for it right here that I saw the first time.
that's on zero, which is probably the default. HDMI preview. Oh, well, I don't have. Well, I'm using HDMI output to the monitor. Just what I'm connected to. I wonder if that's why I couldn't see it. Strange. Oh, now it's saying 640 by 480. Is this the other camera? Wasn't paying any attention. You don't. That still says camera one. Simple MJPEG camera. How am I going to ever set it back to a normal camera? Oh, I think it was in the expert settings. Well, that preview not working could be because that wasn't turned on. Let's find out before we do anything else. <coughs> oh, that didn't help. Let's see. These cameras, you have to get the settings right. You have to set... You have to go, whatever app you're using, if it sees the camera but it doesn't work, you go through the settings, you may find a set, you know, a combination that will make it work. I think that was the expert settings where I changed that. But I'll try not to do too much at once because you, I get lost real quick. This is another set of expert settings. It's turning into be a pretty complicated settings menu. There's too many different ones. Different places. Let's see, I was looking for what? MJPEG. Alright. Oh, maybe it's M J P E G. Yeah, there it is. Camera type simple. How do you get it to go back to normal? Hmm. Thought it'd be easy to get back into that spot. Now I can't find it. Store. I should have saved that configuration, I guess. Can you go back to default? We'll, tr we'll look through it one more time. Let's see. What's this? I don't know if I clicked on that or not. Let's see. This camera, well, this, the, the, one, the camera that, that I have not seen show up, I didn't think was showing up, is does do 640. 640 by 480. So this could be the other camera. But it's shown as camera one. I figured it would be camera two. But uh, I may end up having to, you know, only have one camera in at a time to ever understand what I'm doing. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, that's a different layout. Okay. Preferences. Restore. Let's see. I didn't do a say a backup call. I didn't think I needed to do that yet. No file selector, so I don't see restore defaults. I might have to reinstall to go back to it. Well, it's not going to matter. I mean, they won't really. Not, cameras aren't going to work. But with that thing I just did, turn it into setting it as a M, simple MJPEG camera. Let's turn it back. Oh, there's the HDMI preview. Oh. 
just meant to log in again. I don't want to say never remember because I might want it to remember it later. This time I'll go to, to it that way and see what happens if I see any different settings. I'm seeing different settings depending on where I, seems to be depending on where I click. Network. Services. Expert settings. be in motion where the pictures are going fast current network plan oh turned it into a simple mjpeg camera yeah that's what i'm looking for disabling the motion detection and everything else i actually don't want that disabled it would really be of no real use to me unless it was enabled GPU memory. The GPU. I don't know how many megabytes a GPU has. But it has 128. We'll see. We'll leave it for now, I guess. Or is it talking about the... Yeah, GPU and the Raspberry Pi, I think, not the camera. And then it says if you have a CSI camera board on your Raspberry Pi is what I think it's saying. Camera LED, overclocking. And I could go to 96 to see if it would work, but I don't think that's the problem. System. Okay, you could re could re I won't do that yet. I I've run it that way before. Uh, well, I quit doing it. I think because it. Uh, I've got a. I don't. I didn't even think about trying to you know describe anything. But I have a heat sink on the on the processor. Actually, I think it's going on the processor and the GPU. Uh, I cut one out of a video a video uh, heat sink off of a motherboard that was blown that I saved for parts. I cut it to fit, and it really helped. I started out, I had a fan in it, a small, oh, about a two inch by two inch fan, and it ran maybe a year or six months, I don't remember now. It was an old used fan, and it just wore itself out running constantly, and you could kind of hear it. Not loud, but you could hear it sitting on the couch. If you were listening, I could. But, uh, there's not so much on the couch, but if you went over there towards, you know, by the TV, you could hear it. Of course, when you're watching TV and there's noise coming out of it, it's not really bothering you. But um, now that my other, it's rebooting in my bolt, you know, my, well, the green camera, it's like the light seems to stay on all the time, but the other, the one with the green light, but the other one, it blinked again. But you still just see one camera frame here, and this one pops up here in a minute. And, uh, or still neither one of them work. But yeah, if they're not going to work, you know, with the motion detection and all that in here, then I uh, wouldn't want it anyway. So I don't want that turned back on that JPEG, MJPEG thing. And um, I'm blank now, but uh, okay, let's try it again. Getting old logging in here, that's for sure. Okay. Guess I should have saved it. But I'm still not going to do it yet because I don't think. There we go. Whoops. No, 
underneath it, it you have not configured any camera yet. Click here to add one. Okay, there we go. Local VL42BCM2839 codec. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I used to could remember which camera that would be. I think that might be the newer one. Because I think the D-Link, the old one's D-Link, and I think it would say DL or something. But that was something new, wasn't it? said I hadn't configured any cameras. Oh, look, camera two. It's not on, but now I do have a camera two. But it's still... It said refreshing was recommended. But I'm kind of scared I'll lose it before I get a chance to try to see it uh, working. I don't want to, I'm not going to change anything yet. I think I've got it. Yeah, device video 10, camera ID 2. So that's 320 by 200. It should be 640 by 480. Unless they've changed uh, places or something. So I won't change the resolution. If I get it working, then I'll try to do that. Still images off. Movies off. Yeah, this has got to be the other camera. Huh. Did say to refresh, so I guess I'll do that. So we have to log in again. Huh. Okay, so that didn't help. It's giving some odd errors, isn't it? Okay, there it is again. Now it says camera three. View 11. Gonna have the same camera configured twice, so that's gonna end up happening. Can you just not do that one? Let's see Linux alert. There's one that I keep on getting over and over that uh, doesn't seem to be a big something to worry about, but it just happens sometimes. <clears throat> I, when, uh, you know, when you get one of those, if you don't know anything about SC Linux, and it comes with Fedora, Security Linux is what it is, and uh, it, uh, it sees a uh, process that it's trying, that it doesn't think should be going on, and it'll stop it. Realized I wasn't paying attention to that. I could look and see. I guess I'll look at it to make sure that it's not anything to do with what I'm trying to do here. Shouldn't be. It's usually the same one. DAC override. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same one. Yeah. Somebody's coming in. <laughs> I uh, used to. I've started using a different kind now. Did you? Uh huh. Well, if you want this, you can have it. I've got a bunch of it. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's yeah. It. I mean, it's okay, but it, it it was real good for years, but it got to where it doesn't work as good, and I got a different kind. 
I've been using a different kind for a couple of years, a year at least. Okay. Uh, yeah, send mail. Same one. Jack override. Um, and I've looked into it several times. Let's see. Where's the troubleshoot? And it'll tell you uh, if you want to help identify if the domain needs access you have with permission system, then turn on auditing. I did turn on auditing not too long ago. Turn that audit CTL, ran those to see if I could figure out exactly what's going on. You could change the ownership permissions to let it happen, but it's I don't have any programs that aren't doing what they're supposed to. And I kind of thought, well, what if it was some kind of malware in my, I use Thunderbird email client. I thought, well, if there's something in there trying to send spam, is what I thought. And uh, so as long as it stops it, it's not happening, you know, but um that's what's cool about SC Linux is it does watch your complete system, and you know the Bane, the Ubuntu, and those others have that. I don't, I don't know about the Bane doesn't, Ubuntu doesn't. I don't know about all the others. I haven't really tried out. There's some I haven't even ever tried out. I used to try out a lot of systems, but kind of got you know tired of doing it. I was happy with uh, two. Two I like the best is Fedora and Bane. I use the Bane on older systems that don't have enough power to run Fedora. But because uh, the vein's really lightweight. Anyway, I've never turned it on or anything. But anyway, I was just going to make sure it wasn't anything to do with these, you know, this camera settings trying to do what they were trying to do. But it's on, you know, it would have been a Fedora. It would have been a Firefox thing because this is a remote connection. So. Text overlay, video streaming. See, that's off, that's off. And it doesn't even matter if the camera's not. <coughs> if you don't have video streaming then you wouldn't have uh, oh that is on it's video m recording movies is not on but it doesn't matter if it's not even working it's just sitting there trying to do something so oh I'm going to remove that camera because it's a duplicate of that camera too Let's see what happens when I do that I think it's just hung up it works. It's just kind of slow. Okay, what about the other camera? Let's look at. Uh, I don't even see any cameras now. That's what's kind of weird to me. It says you haven't configured any camera yet. Huh. I wonder if it'd be a good idea to go ahead and unplug the first camera and leave the, this one plugged in and see. That now, because I played and played with this. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump up there and unplug that uh, first one. just realized um, let me switch over to that I uh, just realized if I was going to see <laughs> the uh, camera any camera show up on my monitor, I would have to switch the monitor to the DVI input. But it won't do it. Oh, there it goes. You won't be able to see that. Uh, now that's just showing the command line like normal. I don't remember. I might have turned that off. I might have turned that off. I remember trying it. Oh, yeah, I tried it, and I didn't think it worked, and I think I turned it back off, didn't Okay, so it's still saying have not. Uh, let's try, uh, Well, this time it's not sitting there trying to load. Okay, now it's showing that same one. So, 
I think it well, uh, well now it yeah it's what I thought the BCM is the newer camera but it doesn't look like it's going to be able to configure it and I don't know why the other one just disappeared oh look now we've got three of them did finish though camera one camera two camera three Oh, that's to play the movies recorded by the camera. Okay. Let's do. Let's look at the settings. Well, first, let's look through here again. Camera three. Motion detection is on. Movies are off. And camera. Well, that's still camera three. Now that's camera two. It doesn't have much of anything. It's not, it doesn't show that it's camera two yet. How do you get it to go to a different camera? You have to click on the... Hmm. Now that one will come up. So that other one might not be done right or something. It says 320 by 200. I think that's too small. I'm going to turn on the still images and movies but on defaults and schedule. So, oh, yeah, you don't want that. That's what days you want it to work. I want it to work every day. Video streaming. Streaming port 808.3. Oh, it gives it a different port for each camera. Okay. Eleven. Well, I'm going to hit apply on that before I do anything else. And trying to have two at the same time would definitely screw things up. And the other one's not plugged in. But. I am not working yet. Okay. That one doesn't seem to get a number like this other one does. Now that's camera three. That's camera nothing. That should be camera one. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to There, I'm going to delete. Did it, what happened? I just clicked OK. I didn't pay much attention to what, what was happening there. Maybe it's taking a while. This thing does, it does take a bit sometimes. It says camera two. It says camera two up there. See, that, they show that there's frames. All of them do. Open picture browser. No pictures. I don't 
thinking you haven't taken any pictures because we've not given any previews. What I don't understand is why only this one over here, you know, its number shows up over there. Like you can do something. Seventy-eight two DD six O. Well, that's the same number. That's all the same number. Hmm. Now I don't know why it's. Uh, maybe I better delete this one. Since I can't delete those, I'm going to try deleting that one. And then I can always delete this one and then do it again. I can delete them. If I can delete that one, then one of the duplicates, then maybe I can. Yeah, now camera one shows up like it should. Camera two is not working. Okay. Camera one's not working. Well, it's not plugged in. Since it didn't work, I could just delete it. That one's not working, so no point there. And the camera one should be the wrong camera. It's not working. I think I'm going to delete them all and then add just that one by itself. Yeah, I don't think that one is. I think that's the other camera. It could have uh, confused things. Well, having duplicates definitely could confuse things. Okay, no cameras now. There it is again. Put it in there. Still just like that. Video device. Now it's camera one, of course. But it did show it as. There we go. Six forty by four eighty. This camera. I don't think it works if you if the resolution is set too low. You can there's a couple there's like 640 by 480 and then maybe another one that it'll work on. Yeah, it does work? It always did work on that. Now it looks. I'm looking well. I can't remember. Did that make that X go away? Still images, movies, working schedule, okay. eighty eighty one. Let's see, fly. Just seems like it wants to try, but can't do it. Light hasn't come on on it. That that's the one thing I always know with that one is that the light comes on when it's gonna work. I think I will reboot the whole system now and see if that does anything. Auto threshold tuning. That would be good if it worked, but I won't turn it on yet. Noise detection. Are we talking about auto noise? Is that talking about uh, audio noise? I'm going to do the threshold tuning just to see. Just for the heck of it. 
Well, I'm, I'm actually surprised a bit that it's not working. None of either one of these cameras are working. I'm gonna change the resolution. But first, I'll try one thing at a time. I'm gonna try rebooting first. Of course, I did change two things: threshold tuning. But let's try the rebooting now. Let's see if that. Rebooting the system will make it work. <coughs> Not, then I'll I guess I'll turn off that threshold turning and change the resolution. Let's see which one I'll do first. I might do the resolution first. Yeah, well, it's a nice set of software if only it worked with my cameras. My throat's been dry for hours, and now it's starting to kind of hurt and sting. And I do have cough drops. Light, light it up again. It does that when you boot. It'll do that, uh, like when I have it plugged into my machine. Uh, it'll do that when the machine's rebooting. It'll blink. But uh, only one, only certain software will work with it, though, uh, on this machine. I don't need a machine anymore. Any of my Linux machines. <coughs> I just now realized. Last time I looked, it was around <coughs> two o'clock. Now it's three forty-four. It's almost four o'clock in the morning. Same old, same old. Take a snapshot. Take a snapshot of nothing. Okay, let's see. Data output camera one. That's a different directory than before. Data output camera one. <coughs> oh, <coughs> I thought that was saying how much. Disk uses it was allowed. <clears throat> oh, my, my Ace laptop rebooted. I know why. Because it's set to auto, auto uh, update and reboot at a certain time. I thought it was at 3 in the morning. Well, it might have took, it hasn't been running, you know, for a long time, so it might have took it that long to install the updates. Yeah, so in the morning, I believe so. It's probably been sitting there updating itself all this time. As long as it boot, well, I don't think I'm, I'm not going to use it anymore tonight, even if it doesn't. What will happen, see, is it still does it sets to do that every night. And that was one of the things is it would not boot back up. It would hang up. Let's see what happens. It would just shut back down is what it would do. I wouldn't know it wasn't running. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay. I went blank. I guess I'm getting too tired of fiddle with this anymore. I wish it would give that camera. Oh, there it is. Video resolution. I wish it would give that camera. Okay, 320 by 200 is what it was on. Let's go to 320 by 240 and see if that would make it work. I know it doesn't work on the lowest one. No, it doesn't work on the, <clears throat> six, the, the one that I usually always use it on. It didn't hurt anything there. And usually, you know, if you change settings, like things like that, it usually does make them work right there. You don't, you know, have to do anything like just close and open the software. Or definitely not reboot the computer. Frames, I could, I usually go like, I think it'll do 10 or 15. It won't generally make that, do that many, but you can set it at that. I think the max it will do is either 10, I think it'll do 15, <clears throat> but I don't think having it set on two would, you know, would be any problem for it. Eight hundred by four eighty. I don't think it would do that. Not really. I have seen that thing not working at all. Blank, you know, window there, and then all of a sudden change the resolution to something that. Not only yeah, now see there, that shows you that that's too much. It couldn't. frames per, per second just for the heck of it. I think it will do that. <clears throat> Two is a bit too low to get any kind of video worth looking at. Ten will be okay when a surveillance video. Of course, two, two or five would be better than nothing. See, it's, on, see, it's doing between five and I saw it do there's 10. It's telling you what frames per second. It's up at 15. Can't do it all the time. <clears throat> uh, it's trying to do it, but there's no picture. <clears throat> so that tells me there's something wrong. You know, there's no settings for the video type, the... Uh, you know why UV, UV so and so, and there's just all those different settings you have to you have to uh, mess around with them to get it to work with different software, and I don't see those. Hmm. I think that this is not meant to work not not meant to work with these older cameras. That's what the problem is. <clears throat> Don't have any other kind of camera with a USB output. I have one that does a camera that still works. It's really a still camera, but it has a uh, <clears throat> composite output that you can plug it in, and then you can see it on anything with a composite input. But <clears throat> I, I thought about trying to use it as a video camera in that way, but with a computer or something or a VCR. But <clears throat> but um, I have a video card that an old video card that has this video and composite inputs on it. That's in one of my older computers. But the problem was is it would only stay awake for 15 seconds. And I never figured out a way to make it stay awake. It has a nice zoom lens and everything. It's only like. It's a little digital camera with like 1.7 megapixels or something. It's an Olympus. Still works. And actually has real good night. Show works good at night in low light. Well, no wait. Didn't work good at low light. It looked cool in low light. Uh, if you'd take a picture with it in auto mode in the in the night, like say driving down the road with the stoplights and stuff. Uh, it would keep the shutter open long enough to get the streaks of light. That's cool. <clears throat> uh, I have a, I have a Nikon, Nikon 775. It's only about, 
Actually, maybe it's 1.7 megapixels and the other one's 1 1.2. But anyway, they both, the Nikon has a real Nikon lens on it. It took really good pictures, but not at a whole lot of megapixels. <clears throat> but it just quit working one day. It won't boot up or anything. It would do like 15 second movies and <clears throat> silent movies <clears throat> and good stills, but it doesn't work at all. <clears throat> I kept thinking to get me a raspberry. I didn't really want to gut it and take it apart, but I thought about getting a raspberry. Pi camera and mount trying to mount the Raspberry Pi and its camera inside of it, <clears throat> but you'd have to gut it to do that. And then and then you'd still need its circuitry working. Well, you might be able to do that with the Raspberry Pi if you smart enough, <laughs> get it to you know make the zoom lens work off of those uh, I/O pins. I don't know if it could do that or not. I never did. Never seen anybody do anything that complicated with with anyone. I've seen them. Put a put stuff like put cameras, digital cameras inside of like I have an old brownie movie camera, and I saw one where a girl did that. <clears throat> it's pretty cool, except for she kind of gutted the camera, and mine works. I ain't tearing it apart. I think that you could really figure out a way you could mount it in there without touching the camera and just aim the Raspberry Pi camera at the when at the mirror reflector, and I think you'd still get square pictures instead of round ones, like a lot of people do it. Name it straight through the lens, and you only you get round pictures, and they look kind of funny. They're cool, but they look funny. <clears throat> but um, and the Brownie movie camera, of course, it's it's cool looking. It's just cool looking. It's not a really fancy modern lens, you know. Manual zoom though, and all that, you know. <clears throat> it's a wind up camera, eight millimeter wind up camera, silent. <clears throat> And, but it still works, and you, I found out recently that they're still, it's, they've become popular again, and they're making film for it again. For a while, you couldn't hardly find film for them, and it, when you did, it was, you know, be, before it got to where you couldn't find it, it had got so expensive to buy the film and have it processed that it, I just quit using it. <coughs> this is back in the 80s, but I still have it, and I still have it a projector. My grandmother, it was my grandmother's camera, and she had it, I think she bought it in the 50s. She loved making movies taking pictures she's the one that got me into it <clears throat> but uh, see that's really crazy you see the frames that it's streaming but you see no picture now where was that thing where you I don't see how that would work though uh, like you know I turned that on to uh, I don't know where it was now but to, to show a picture over the HDMI output <clears throat> but how is that going to work when it's just running in the command line? I think I turned it back off. Let's see. I don't remember where it was now. AD81. Wouldn't that be funny if it works but not in the... But not. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and leave that open in case I need it again. But not in the preview. Nope, don't work. It was making me wonder. It says JPEG image. It's 40 by 480. <clears throat> I think that is what they, both these cameras, <clears throat> they will do JPEG. <clears throat> Maybe, I don't, I want to say TIFF, but I don't think it's TIFF. It's some other odd thing that you really never, I never really saw in anything but these these old USB cameras, not like in camera, any kind of cameras. But um, where did I put the yeah, I did. Okay. So that ain't going to work. 
So yeah, if it's not showing up in the preview, you're not going to see it then. <clears throat> Movie format. This is the thing I've been missing this whole time. This may be my problem right here. Okay. I know it can do H.264. Now, unless it's converting it to that, but I doubt it. Matroska. Matroska. MKV. No, no, no. ATV. H.264 OMX. H.264 QuickTime Flash. Small Web. MPEG-4 AVI. MS MPEG-4 AVI. Small Web. Small SWF. Let's just start at the top and work our way down. <clears throat> you. I do not expect any of these to work, actually, now that I see what they are. They're all mo way more modern than these cameras. Uh, unless they're actually transcoding whatever it gets into this. <clears throat> I guess I should have uh, left that. Well, if the preview don't work, I don't think it is going to matter. Other than, yeah, what if the web browser couldn't play it? That's true. But it, I know the web, well... Web browser do FOV. I don't, I'm sure it's not. They don't work. Have any kind of quick time. I'm just doing it. <clears throat> Won't hurt. H two sixty four MP four, and the next one is one it was already set on. Now I'll be wanting to try the other camera too. On it. Oh, now my route my D link router's rebooting. That's going to break my stream. <coughs> So I'm going to watch and see if my stream gets broke. Sometimes it doesn't. It's not. Well, if I, that's one of the reasons why I did that. Uh, I think it already did break it, didn't it? <coughs> Looks like it. <coughs> it may pick it back up, but that's why, why I consider doing that delay so that my stream might not get lost. It used to... Uh, not lose the stream for oh 30 seconds to a minute but they quit it's it doesn't hang on that long anymore <clears throat> if I if something went wrong you know but yeah I've got my router set to reboot yet right now evidently what time is it four four o'clock yeah. yeah stream is down Doesn't say it's down. And that's why I make a backup video. And maybe what I need to do. It still says it's live. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I'm going to wait a minute more. It says it's red. It shows it's red, but it doesn't show it's live down it shows to be down over there on my uh, well I need to reload the page that's right No, it's, it went down. So I'm going to stop here and come back again just for a little while longer since I was right in the middle of a sentence. All right, we'll be back. Mm -hmm.